Hello everyone and welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday, week two of Mickle Tour, and this time we have the Chinkapin one. Now, Chinkapin, with its rather unusual spelling, I'm unsure if that's perhaps Native American in its in its tone. Chinkapin is just a very specific type of virgin oak. It is just a type of oak, really, a type of Quercus alba. And it first came to light with uh, a Jura release. I cannot remember which Jura release. I think it was just, it was one of their One for the Road special releases, I think. Or maybe even an older version. Phased all out, it was like pre-Covid. And it's been used a little bit on some other stuff. Uh, Billy Walker has used it on Glenallachy. I'm pretty sure he used some of it on Ben Riak. But well back in the day, but it was a much, much smaller, lesser known release. But essentially it's virgin oak. This is another five-year-old at 48% with no colouring and no filtration. I am just going to double-check the price on this because I was unsure if all the prices were different. There was one called the Turbo, which I know was a little bit harder to get hold of because uh, that one sold it instantly. But as soon as you call something Turbo, it's going to sell out pretty quick, isn't it? Uh, it looks like, again, this one is roughly the same price as most places. Maybe a little bit more expensive, so we're talking about closer to 50, whereas the sherry one was a little bit below that on average. Uh, but yeah, it's a peated whiskey at 35 ppm, matured solely in virgin oak. This should have my name written all over it. Again, for a five-year-old product, this is a perfectly white wall behind me. It's this really nice kind of burnt orange color. I brought in the sherry one from last week, just as a contrast. So this is sherry, this is virgin oak, they're not that different in colour. Uh, the purple on the sherry really offsets the colour in a way. It makes it almost seem darker. But yeah, this is a nice burnt orange colour. But let's dive in straight into the smell, the taste, and my views on it. Because last week's one was a, a big old uh, swing out of the park. When was the last time I tried a virgin oak peated whiskey? That's a question for all of us below in the comments. When was the last time you, we tried virgin oak peated anything and was it actually good? I got to try a peated virgin oak bimba sample the other week. That was really unusual. It tasted like frazzles and bacon. But I can't remember the last time I've had a scotch whiskey like that. Delectable nose. It's full of all of these like caramelized white chocolate, um, floral kind of nice bourbony smells, but they seem a little bit darker. Like when you think about the vanilla and the caramel and things like coconut and pineapple that you get with virgin oak and bourbon and refill bourbon casks, it has those things, but it seems everything's been cooked for a bit longer, like the, the caramelized versions of those flavors. So the white chocolate, the pineapple for sure, there are some really nice, juicy, exotic notes hidden away in this. Pineapple's definitely one of them. I don't know about coconut. There's definitely like a red apple feel to this. And then all of that smoke just kind of wisps up from, into the, from out of the glass into your nose. But yeah, Caramac bars. So car I think they've discontinued it now, unfortunately, but a Caramac bar was this kind of long bar of uh, chocolate. I can't remember who made it. It may have been like Nestle or someone. And it was the first time, you don't think about it as a kid because you're just eating a chocolate bar, but it, I was a massive fan of white chocolate as a kid. And it's caramelized white chocolate. So it has that just richer, creamier, deeper feel. You can almost taste the sugar granules in it. And this reminds me so much of that, but smoky. Yeah, the red apple, the pineapple, there's even things like papaya, a bit of kiwi. There's some nice like top end notes to all this basey caramelized chocolate and smoke. Yeah, let's taste. This comes across as so much more subtle 
than the sherry one from last week. I can't imagine what the turbo one tastes like, but the sherry one was just like, I'm here, this is me. This is a much more relaxed style of moderately peated, high strength whiskey at a young age. I will say that along with things like Ardner Merkin, and what other young whiskey have I tried that's like really good? Lag. So with like Ardner Merkin and Lag, this tastes really good at a young age, let alone what it will become in a couple of years time. That caramelized chocolate thing, caramelized banana, there's almost like a Biscoff, uh, creme brulee cheesecake thing going on with this palette and on, as it arrives on the palette it's very indulgent and sweet and creamy something that I find very interesting as well is that as you go to smell it as you go to taste it the smoke is what you get as it actually kind of, as the, you know, the scents and everything enter your mouth, you get the smoke straight away, purely as a scent. And then in come these big creamy sweet things. And then as it rounds off, you do get some of the intensity of virgin oak. It is slightly drying. I wouldn't describe it as tannic, but it's kind of gently drying. It's a little bit oaky. It tastes a, lo a lot older than it is. Um, but virgin oak does tend to have that because of the influence of the oak at such a young age and the first use of the barrel. And then you just get finished off with this barbecue. What is it? It's almost like barbecue-y glazed ham kind of notes. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me a lot of the... mostly of Ledgig. It reminds me a lot of Ledgig, actually, this particular one. But years ago... And this is going to sound very contradictory. I bought and still have most of it uh, in storage of a Legic 19 sherry cask. And it nearly won Whiskey of the Year, but the Cavalan Virgin Oak won it. And I got a lot of heat in the comments about that. But the Cavalan was just a little bit better. But even though the, th that Legic was a lot older and it was in sherry casks, this has a lot of those notes. That earthy, mossy, green kind of smoke that Legic has is within this. The, 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 the cheesecake thing, the creme brulee, that's totally different. That's just like another level on top of it. But this is like, it tastes like an old sherried lechig, which has, hasn't been in sherry at all. And then you've got virgin oak influence coming in on top of it. It's another delicious whiskey. Um, which one's better though? Because I go through phases of sherry, but I am a virgin oak guy. One more taste and then I'll decide what score to give it. Yeah, I mean, I think it gets a nine. The sherry one's good. The virgin oak one's good. I just need to try the turbo. I think one of them is just a regular one. Um, I should really do more research on these things as a range. But yeah, they both get a nine. They're both absolutely stunning. They remind me of all of the good things from Isla, all of the good things from Mull, all of the good things from Campbelltown but I can actually buy them. They're still available for sale in the UK. Um, in, in other parts of the world, I'm unsure. Ask your local spirit shop or whoever your Glenallachy distributor would be. Get these, get these, open them, and revel in the flavor you are getting for below 50 pounds a bottle. I bought the sherry one last week. I've got to buy that one now. Money in March is falling away as we talk about this. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I didn't think we'd get any nines this year. I know we're still quite early into the year, but I wasn't looking at stuff that's coming out. I was a bit like, I mean, they're not going to get it or it's not going to live up to, to the hype. These did come out last year, but they are delicious. 
and they 100% deserve a spot on an experimental drinker's shelf, a peated whiskey drinker's shelf. If you just want to try cool stuff, get one, get both of them. Get all four of them if you can. Um, just so tasty, so good. But yeah, I'll see you all next week. Cheers.